and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with more or less play Pokemon Leaf Green. I'm joined as always by our intrepid Dumpus. We also have our Pokemon team of Samja with us. Let's try to expand that team today. We're actually going to officially get started with our Pokemon quest. Uh, really, our quest in this game is to complete the Pokedex, but we're not going to be doing that. That's not even possible in one playthrough. We're just going to uh, try to to beat the game really here and there's a few ways that we're going to get that done that we will find out in a bit uh, however uh, the first thing that I want to do is try to catch another Pokemon now there are two Pokemon that you can catch here on route one they are Pidgey and Rattata or Rattata I've always said Rattata hey it's a Pidgey good I want to catch a Pidgey of the two Pidgeys the one that uh, is actually good at the end of the game. Radita is is not. Uh, Radita quickly falls off in usefulness. Uh, but I am going to try to catch the Pidgey. Uh, there is a very complex uh, equation to catching Pokemon. Well, it's not really complex, but it's more complex than I'm really willing to go over here. Uh, so what I am going to do is use a couple tackles on it. Uh, hopefully just one more. No critical here. This is the first Pokemon Really? You missed the tackle? Did you hit it with it with your bulb? Come on, all right. Tackle. Uh, we we want to get its HP down, preferably to red like it is there. Now, we do want to use an item from our bag. We are going to use the Pokeball. Now, this is how you catch Pokemon. You throw a Pokeball at it when it's weak. Uh, it'd be better if I could put it to sleep or something like that, uh, put it in an impaired status, but uh, as it is right now, uh, just use the Pokeball. Uh, Pidgey shouldn't be all that difficult to catch for me, so I will be happy with this. Uh, Radita, I would be less happy with, but, but Pidgey, like I said, will, will be useful for the entire game, should I use him properly. It is a low-level Pidgey, but hey, it's another Pokemon, so I am happy to get Pidgey in my Pokedex and in my party. Here, it's a common sight in forests and woods. It flaps its wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. Very nice. Give a nickname to the captured Pidgey as a, kind of an unofficial rule. Some people say it's an official rule of the Nuzlocke Challenge. I will be naming every Pokemon that I capture along the way. So all nicknames are welcome. Let's give a name to Pidgey here. As suggested by Insanity Force, this is going to be Sanders, our female Pidgey. As you can see, there is the little female symbol. This is, of course, I assume, a reference to Colonel Sanders, the founder of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Pidgey is not a colonel just yet. She will work her way up the army ranks, I am sure. But we do have a new Pokemon with us, Sanders. Uh, that's really all that we get for now, but we can actually look at the Pokemon that we just picked up. And I recommend that you do this, especially in the third generation of, of, of Pokemon games, this being third generation rules. So I would always recommend that you take a look at your new Pokemon, level three Pidgey by the name of Sanders. It's not a very good cry but whatever. Uh, this is a quirky nature. This is one of the quirky natures, actually. Quirk, quirky nature doesn't have really any impact on anything, so base stats are going to stay the same. On top of that, uh, we have a normal flying type, our first flying type, first normal type for all that matters as well. Uh, this is actually a pretty good type. You wouldn't think so, but normal flying is actually quite useful in this game. Not too many weaknesses to to, to many things. Uh, as we can see, level three, so the stats are pretty low. Speed is high though, that is kind of expected of birds. And we do get keen eye. So Sanders can never have a loss of accuracy, which will be very useful because there is a move called sand attack, which lowers accuracy that things love to use. Oh my God, do they love to use that. And apparently it used three tackles. Uh, in this version of the game, they have Tackle. In the first generation of games, Red, Blue, and Yellow, they have Gust. Uh, but they had to change Gust to be a flying move, and they didn't want to give this low level of a Pokemon a, a flying move, so they stuck with Tackle. As you can see, it's, it's the same Tackle. It is the same one 
as always. Uh, I could move it out in front, which I will be doing at some point because I do want to get it leveled up and I'll go over some techniques for leveling later. But for now, I need Sanders to live, so Sanders is not going to be out front. Instead, we're just going to finish our journey up to Viridian City. Hopefully we see a Raditza. Now it's another Pidgey. Now, normally I would hang out here until I did get into a fight with a Raditza, just so I could show off what the Pokemon looks like and I can talk about it a little bit more, but we'll be seeing plenty of Raditzas. I can promise you that. But now that we are up here and my Pokemon are still weak, I mean, after all, I didn't bother healing any of them and I got into another fight since you guys were last paying attention. So, Health is a little low. It's, this is our first opportunity to go into something that I will be doing a lot off screen. This is a Pokemon Center. This is where you can heal your Pokemon back up to full for free. It's like a free in in, a, in an RPG. Well, this is an RPG, but it's a free in, damn it. Welcome to our Pokemon Center. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes, I would. Okay, I'll take your Pokemon for a few seconds. And she places them there. This is something that you can't not skip you get the little jingle it works out quite well thank you for waiting we've restored your pokemon to full health and they've also restored their pp even though she doesn't say that we hope to see you again what kind of thing is that to say in a hospital hope to see you real soon why no uh but as a result pokemon back up to full health uh, full PP like I said before I will need to do some level grinding probably get everything up to level 9 or so uh, And and I'll probably do that. Yeah off screen like I do all this off screen This is kind of a punishment because it takes a long time to go back to the Pokemon Center Get the heal and all that kind of stuff uh, when normally uh, in RPGs it, it doesn't take as long to heal your Pokemon, but uh, I do want to point out something in particular because I will not be showing this off throughout the rest of the Let's Play, is that if you have a Pokemon faint on you, meaning they run out of HP, and you turn them into Nurse Joy here, Nurse Joy will restore them kind of back to life. She'll revive them. Of course, that's not going to happen because my Pokemon die. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. They're going, they're, some of them are going to die, I'm sure. Please feel free to use that PC in the corner. The receptionist told me so. It's so kind of her. Now this PC is quite cool actually. Uh, this is in some ways more modern than our PC. Okay, so we have access to someone's PC, Dumpus's PC, and Professor Oak's PC. I don't remember what that one does. We'll have to look at that in a second. First up though, we have someone's PC. Uh, we will find out what that person's name is at some point. This is the Pokemon storage system. Uh, here you can move your Pokemon, withdraw Pokemon. Um, you can move their hold items, not your actual items. Uh, but I was about to say, are they gonna let me look? They will let me look. Uh, here you can see that we have several boxes full of Pokemon. Uh, I guess they are kind of arranged in a way so that you can sort them, uh, but that's not going to be necessary for me here. Uh, we will probably not even fill up a single box of this. But it's nice to know that they do have uh, the ability to just store their digital data on a PC somehow. And of course I can look at my party, uh, which is the stuff that I bring with me if I wanted to. So that's it for uh, someone's PC. Dumpus's PC is an item storage site, or whatever you want to phrase it. Yeah, item storage and a mailbox, which is not in the first game, but we don't have any mail here anyway. And we have Professor Oak's PC, which is probably the Pokedex. Yeah, the Pokedex rating system, it looks like. Would you like to have your Pokedex rated? Yeah, let's do it. The amount of progress you've made on your Pokedex is three Pokemon seen and two Pokemon owned. Professor Oak's rating, you still have lots to do. Go into every patch of grass you see and look for Pokemon. Apparently we get a like a happy jingle. I figured we would get like a depressing jingle because I wasn't doing very well. And yeah, that's yeah, that's just your Pokedex rating system. Uh, in order to complete your Pokedex in this game, you only need 150, uh, or at least in the original generation of the game, you only need 150 because Mew is impossible to catch. We'll go over Mew later. Uh, but 
let's try to explore town around here. We're in a new town. Let's talk to people. There's a Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. We are in some kind of, like, free healthcare society. I think we're in Canada, you guys. I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on. Pokemon Centers heal your tired, hurt, or, or fainted Pokemon. They make all Pokemon completely healthy. As was pointed out to me uh, by several people, uh, burn actually does lower your physical attack, I believe, by half. Uh, that is not something that I've always noticed. Burn is not a very common thing to have happen, to me at least. And on top of that, physical attacks are not necessarily all that common for me either. Hello, my name is Tila. This must be your first time up here. I'll show you how the wireless communication system works. That's not necessary. First, I need to show you this floor of our Pokemon Center right this way, please. And we are introduced to kind of the multiplayer trading aspect of this game right now. On the top floor, there are two rooms. First, the room on the left. This is the union room. You may link up with trainers around you who have also entered the union room. With them you may do things like chat, battle, and trade. Second, the room on the right is the direct corner. You may trade or battle Pokemon with your friends in this room. If the wireless adapter isn't connected, you may still link up using a GBA game link cable. Of course, the original Game Boy didn't have wireless, so it was all done with a cable. If that is the case, you must go to the direct corner. I hope you enjoy the wireless communication system. I will not be doing any of that. No multiplayer for me. I am purely focused on finishing the single player aspect of this game. If you're coming to me looking for advice on multiplayer, you've kind of come to the wrong place. I know a little bit about multiplayer, but not nearly enough to, to really advise you on how to catch Pokemon for a multiplayer team. Mm -mm. I'm here to beat the game, which I have done. Yeah, we've we've been here. Okay, so we have mostly explored Viridian City. There's definitely a couple places that are uh, unexplored, but they're further north. I was kind of hoping we could go around there, but no. All right, so up here, we can find yet another room. Hey, that's a new looking one. This is a Speary. This is actually a Spearo, uh, and it likes to tweet... Coming up with nicknames is fun, but it's not so easy to do. Clever names are nice, but simple names are easier to remember, like Speary for your Spearo. How you doing, little girl? My daddy loves Pokemon too. Good for him. Like, how do you not love Pokemon in this in this world? They're like ever present. Uh, yes, we've talked to you before. Now this guy up here. He is, he is vital, and I'll talk about him more way later, but we'll talk to him now eventually. I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. I have to take the winding trail in Viridian Forest when I go. Yeah, why Why is there not a better like transportation system between towns in this game? That's always bothered me. Well, now, I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Hmm? What is that red box you have? Ah, so you're working on your Pokedex, which apparently is common, even though Professor Oak said he just invented it. Then let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. Why it can't do it unless you've caught it, I'm not entirely sure. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I just did. I suppose I'd better show you then. He doesn't even give us the option. He is going to catch a Weedle, so it is still a Weedle in this version of the game. I was about to say, in the previous version, it's a Weedle. Let's see what it, what it is this time. He apparently doesn't have a Pokemon, uh, but he is going to throw a Pokeball at the Weedle nonetheless. We will be seeing more of Weedle later. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it, though. Spoiler alert. I'm not a big fan of bugs in general in this game. And, of course, he caught it. I would not recommend throwing a Pokeball at anything that's full health, with a couple exceptions, and Weedle is not one of them. There! Now tell me, that was educational, was it not? Not really, at least you didn't bore me with a lot of dialogue, but yeah, I got it, you could throw a Pokeball at shit. And here, take this too! And we get the Teachy TV! Uh, we put the Teachy TV in the key items pocket, it's apparently very important. If there's something you don't understand, watch that! It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer! Will it now? Here though, we can find a gym. 
now I actually need to go around this way in order to get to the gym because that guy's in my way and he will not move. Viridian Gym's doors are locked. And wait, what? And it automatically jumped me down? That is new. That is quite new. Okay, we'll, we'll try this again. We'll go from this side. This Pokemon gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Is it, is it, is it my dad? Because I have not seen him in a long time. So this is really our first gym, but it's closed, so there's nothing that we can do about this. This will actually be open much, much later in the game, so we can come back. But for now, I am going to do a little bit of level grinding. I will actually switch the Pokemon, uh, like I said I would do before. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do that now. I will show you the, uh, the technique that I normally do for... Uh, grinding a Pokemon that is low level. It's a very basic technique. Everybody does it, but it's worth showing. So once I get into a fight with a Rattata, so that I can show off a Rattata, I'll show you the technique. 